welcome to the official YouTube channel for Santa Drake Claus. Be sure to subscribe for new content and comment below to introduce yourself. May the magic of Christmas brighten your days all year long. Well, well, hello there, hello there, my friends, and best wishes to each of you. You have now joined the Art Live Streamy. I try to do an Art Live Streamy twice a week. We will do one where we are working on all sorts of wonderful different things. And then we also have our Christmas movie character series. This is one that you all are helping with as well. So please let me know in the comments when the video is posted. Let me know who you would love to see me draw next. A wonderful thing. I'm so very excited to see all of you here, my friends, joining in. Everett has joined in. Dalton, crazy for Christmas. Katie, hello there. Everett, wishing you all good things. I hope that you're all doing well, staying out of trouble, and getting so excited for Christmas. And to all of those that are excited for the spooky season, as you call it, well, today's subject is Jack Skellington. <laughs> A wonderful, wonderful thing. I look forward to inking it and painting it and seeing how it turns out. A wonderful thing. I'm wishing you all positivity. This is an opportunity, my friends, to also ask any questions that you might have. And I will let you know that I have just posted a brand new video on the Tiki of the Talkie. And I hope that you will watch it all the way through, my friends. Let me know that you are in the live stream today and what you think of the video. Today's video is on my second day on the island of Bonaire in the Dutch Caribbean. A wonderful location indeed. A wonderful location. Well, shall we begin, my friends? You will see here that I have already gone through and penciled with a pencil. All of where I'm, I'm hoping to ink. Now, you will find, my friends, that I'm using... I'm using, if I can find it, an HB pencil from Faber-Castell. This is a very light pencil. It does not draw very dark. And it's always wonderful to be able to sketch out where we want to ink our, our painting. A wonderful thing. Good morning, Miss Bethany, our wonderful moderator, has joined in as well. Hello there from the Czech Republic, a beautiful country. Let's go. It's Jack. It is Jack. Jack Skellington. For all of you that are wanting to celebrate a little spooky season, well, we're all going to join together. Some of you might see this film as a Christmas film. Some might see it as a spooky season film. And some certainly might see it as both. Well, I'm wishing you all goodness, my friends. All goodness indeed. Very exciting. To all of those joining in, hello there, my friends, and welcome. We have now begun the art live streaming on the YouTube. -y. I'm going to be drawing and inking and painting for a wonderful painting of Jack Skellington. And you can certainly join in in the link in bio, my friends, for the YouTube. -y. And to all of those joining in here, my friends, I also want to remind each of you, please make sure that you subscribe and click the little jingle bell, my friends, when it's time to go live. You will be let know when we are live. A wonderful thing. Well, shall we begin? We're going to do this very, very good job on the inking job here. I will tell you, I also have a very important appointment. We're working on some new toy designs today. So I'm going to be rather quick about it today. Hopefully we can accomplish all that we need before it's time to leave. This is a time, my friends, to enjoy, and I hope that you're inspired to try new things as well. Maybe there's a type of art that you've always wanted to try. And sometimes we might look at all of the supplies of the art, my friends, and you might think, I do not have all of these things. Well, you can certainly be an artist with just a piece of paper and a pencil, a wonderful thing as well. Jacob has joined in. Santa, can you say hello to my brother, Pablo? He is sick. Well, I hope that Pablo gets feeling quite better very, very soon. Hello there, my friends. Yourself, uh, Santa, is my birthday. Can you please say happy birthday? Well, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Hello there and good morning, Bethany. Well, let us begin. Where am I going to start? Well, I'm going to start, I believe, with this majestic, most wonderful... 
beard, the beard of Mr. Jack Skellington. Wonderful. Now, Mr. Jack has a quite a perfect, perfect round circle of a face. And I will try my very best. But as we always say, my friends, do you remember what the, what the rule is? It does not need to be perfect. This is my rule. Mr. Jack Skellington looks a little spooky. <laughs> my goodness, my goodness. Very good. Now you'll see, my friends, how I sketched this and used uh, some lines in here to darken things up. I'm trying to keep the lines a little less on the top so that we have a little sparkle, a little shimmer within the eyes. And here we're going to, we're going to be giving Mr. Jack's hat some very squirrely, squiggly little fur lines, my friends. You'll remember in the movie, Mr. Jack was able to put this all together himself. We'll give it some long little hairs as well. <laughs> I hope that everyone is doing well and staying out of trouble. Being kind to all those around you, always wonderful. Hello there, my friends. Crazy for Christmas. Hello there, Santa. I'm going to get a surgery while I'm sending you all of my best wishes that all goes well, my friend. And we're going to also Give this little pom-pom of the hat a little bit of a squiggliness as well. Wonderful. We're getting closer, my friends. Certainly getting closer. Do you know who I believe would truly love this beard is Mr. Scott Saba, always enjoying all of the times to draw wonderful hair. And he's so very talented at it as well. And I will try my very best.
I believe we will refine it a little bit more as we go. Wonderful. Good morning, good morning, Sir Roy. I see you there. Best wishes to you. You draw better than me, Santa. That is very kind of you to say. Very kind indeed. I'm always trying to practice. Even right now, my friends, I'm practicing. This is always a wonderful opportunity to be able to practice and to get better and all sorts of wonderful things. Here we want the fur to be nice and nice and swirly and squiggly and squirrely and with random little hairs here and there. And I was going to do just Mr. Jack, but I thought, no, we certainly needed to also include Hero as well. Wonderful. We're getting there. Slowly but surely, my friends. Hello there. Best wishes to each of you. If you're just joining in, we're starting to begin the inking process of our piece of art today. We're doing our art live streaming on the YouTube. -y, and I hope that you will join in, my friends. Always wonderful to see individuals joining into the live streaming. If you join in, let me know that you've arrived, my friends, that I can say hello to you. Mr. Jack with his skeleton hands. Oh my goodness, so very spooky. <laughs> How am I doing, my friends? We have this wonderful little present that Jack has been working on to deliver. I wonder what's inside. What do you think, my friends? You'll also see that I put in a little larger line right under here, just to create a little bit of a, of a shadow. And here, Mr. Jack has created a little bow for the gift with a spooky skeleton. My goodness. I could never do such a thing. <laughs> but there we have our gift.
Yeah, we're creating some of our brick chimney. Wonderful, wonderful. We're getting there. I think we're going to now begin with, with Mr. Zero the dog. And here we are, my friends, if you're joining in. I'm going to begin painting quite soon. Look at the heart. How delightful. Wonderful. Well, here we have Zero. Little cute zero. I'm going to do his ears as well. Now, if you look at Zero's if you look at Zero's nose, my friends, do you see what Zero's nose is? If you look carefully, you will see that Zero has a little pumpkin nose. A little pumpkin nose, my friends. We're going to put the moon in the background. And if you know me, my friends, drawing circles, my goodness, always something stressful. <laughs> now I'm being very simple on the houses that we see in the background. Almost like a silhouette of the home. It will be in the background, my friends. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, we are now done with the inking process. I'm going to go through and just create some larger lines, some thicker lines.
doing good. Well, thank you, Noah, for the kind comments. You have a boyfriend named Jack. It's not Jack Skellington, is it? <laughs> Hello there. Looks amazing so far. Cody, thank you for your kindness. There we are, my friends. Wonderful. Now we're going to go through and erase the pencil. I'm using a kneading eraser. We're going to give it a little workout and then use it. This will pick up all of the pencil lines that are there. Sometimes I use the pencil lines. Sometimes I forget to erase the pencil lines. All of it is okay. And what will remain is just the ink that we have put down, a permanent ink, so that when we're using our watercolor, it does not wash away. Wonderful. There we are, my friends. We're about to begin painting Jack Skellington and Zero. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Hello there, my friends, and welcome. The very first thing that I'm going to do, as I'm thinking about it, my friends, I'm going to put a wash on the whole thing. This is nighttime. It's dark. There is no pure white. We will be able to put in a little bit of highlight later, but right now, right now we're going to be putting in Putting in a, a sort of wash all over the all over the top. We will darken all of it. And here it does not need to be perfect. There we are, we've darkened the whole thing, my friends. Now time for the blow dryer, the peppermint blow dryer. <laughs> and I have an iPhone 15 Pro. I'll see what I can do. My friends, those are very difficult to make. Oh, there we are, my friends. All dried with the peppermint blow dryer. <laughs> Santa, please, can you say hello to Noah and Reggie? Hello there, my friends. Now, we are live streaming on the YouTube. -y. If you want to watch along as I'm painting, well, join in, my friends. Join in. We love you, Santa. Well, oh, and I thank you for your kindness. I send you all of my love. I want a PS5. Well, certainly, half the world wants a PS5. I'll see what I can do. The electronicals are so very difficult to make. I remember, my friends, when... When there was a time that I would just need to make a little wooden top and it would be a wonderful gift. Now everyone wants smartphones and computers and drones and my goodness, very difficult things. Hello there, hello there my friends. Well, we are going to begin to paint our wonderful painting of Jack Skellington. Now oftentimes I am painting the 
I'm painting the subject first, and then we go through and paint our wonderful, our wonderful background. But I believe I'm going to start with the background today. And to begin, we're going to go through with a lot of purples. Wonderful. Look at all of the purple, my friends. Now, I will tell you when I asked who I should paint for Christmas characters, well, so very many of you requested Mr. Jack Skellington. So I hope that some of you are here today, that you're able to see that we're working on it. Now, once the live is done, my friends, it will automatically be posted as a video and I hope that if you have someone you would love to see me paint for the Christmas movie characters I hope my friends that you will you will let me know in the comments I'm going to turn it all sorts of directions to paint this to make it easier to reach things. If you have any questions, my friends. How is Bethany doing? I bet Bethany's quite busy. I'm always so very grateful that she spends time to help with the live streamings. She has so very much going on. And what a wonderful artist she is as well. And I'm going to go through here and I'm going to wet this just a bit so that I can come through and here we're going to go through and create some little clouds here and there. What do you think, my friends? Oh, 
Now we're also going to go through and I'm going to add in just a little bit more purple. And I'm going to go through and just paint some shapes here and there. Sort of clouds moving in and out. I'm going to darken it up just a bit as well as we get down a little lower. There we are, my friends, we're getting there. Wonderful, the next one we're going to do is we're going to go through the blues. Lots of blue. I'm going to go through and paint all of these homes off in the distance. You all hear Coco snoring. She's so very loud today. I'm certain that Holly is also snoring in the background. Wonderful. Let's use the blow dryer, my friends. I'm going to go through and use just a little bit more blue and darken up the first, the first of the houses. And the farther the houses get, the lighter they become. So these first ones, we're going to make a little darker. A lot of people work so very well. in using pictures and matching with the reference photos. And sometimes the best part of painting is just looking around you at how things work. You might not always get it right, but you can have a lot of fun in learning. Wonderful. I'm going to use a little bit of the blue here and there as well, just to give us a little bit more of tone. Because I love the blue in this.
Wonderful. And blow dryer. Now we cannot forget Our moon. We're going to do the moon with a bright yellow. Wonderful, and blow dryer. I see the moon shining there, my friends. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put just a little bit of yellow along in here as well, as though the the moon is hitting some of these clouds here and there. And also, all around where the moon is, I'm going to lighten it up with a little bit of yellow here and there. And we'll blend it off as it gets further away. What do you think? Do you see how the, the moon is shining? Wonderful. Now I'm going to use some of the blue and some of the more blue than purple. I'm going to go through here and give us just some some moments of shadows within the snow. Next on my list is going to be the red. A nice bright red. I'm going to darken it up just a bit. And we'll go through and give, give Jack his bright red suit that he has made. How are we doing, my friends? How many elves do you have? Parrot has asked. Well, I will tell you that I'm always losing track as we add more, more each year as we have elves that are born. But the individual that is always very good with the numbers is Mrs. Claus. She's always keeping track of all of that. But we have so many, my friends. There are truly thousands of elves. Oh, 
I'm going to go through and put just a little bit of shadow along in here as well. Wonderful. Now we're going to add in just a little bit of an orange with the red that we already have. I'm creating a somewhat of a of a brick color. I'm going to lighten it up. For the very top. Now something that you'll notice now that we've added all of the color, if you look my friends, Look at Jack's face. Doesn't it look pure white? But remember what we did. We washed the whole thing. So we never have a pure white. A lot of times people will leave the white pure white. And white does not quite work as this way. But we will, we will have fun with it. I'm going to be adding some orange just to give us a different color. And let's use the blow dryer. And I'm going to go through and paint some of the bricks just to let them stand out. Just to highlight them, make them be a little bit different than what's there. We can also do something even darker just to give the bricks a different color. You see how we've done it? I'm going to darken this up just a little bit. And here I'm going to, let's use the blow dryer one more time. We don't want the colors to blend. goodness here I'm dropping everything here I'm going to just put in just a little bit here on the bottom Wonderful. I'm also noticing we need to put in a little bit more right in there. And blow dryer. Now our presents. Wonderful presents. What everyone is hoping for and wishing for for Christmas. I'm going to paint this present green. I think we will do green and purple.
and blow dryer. Wonderful, blow dryer. Santa, I would love a Disney drawing from you for Christmas. Oh, see what I can do, Melissa. Wonderful. Looking great. Bob Ross quality. Well, that's very kind of you. Very kind. We're going to bring in a little bit of that orange so we can paint Hero's nose. <laughs> and also, Hero has a very bright and wonderful little little collar. There we are. Now here we have some shadows to do, my friends. And thinking about what types of shadows that we would want. Well, I'm going to add in just a little bit of black. It'll kind of gray up the shadow. And I'm going to use the shadow, my friends, for, for the beard. Right where right where it comes through. You see how we've done it? We've darkened it up just a bit. Now we're going to go with the blue. The blue shadows, my friends, we're going to give Give to the, the white of the fur. Now we could have done all of the same thing, my friends, but here's what I have learned. This is something that I, that I have felt is, is we want to, even though everything might be white in our head, Jack is white and the fur is white and the beard is white, well, when we use a shadow of a different color, it gives a slight different tone and it creates a, an understanding that it's made of something different. The fur is not the same as Jack's face and it's not the same as Hero and it's not the same as the beard. We're able to develop differences by even the tones that we use in the shadows. So something that I've always tried to do. Now I'm going to use a a darker tone of a brown, my friends, for Mr. Jack's shadows. I'm going to add in just a little bit of the purple as well. But his shadows, if you look at a piece of bone, my friends, well, oftentimes, oftentimes they are, they have a, not a whiteness to them,
I'm going to darken it up in here. I'm going to give him a shadow along the bottom. And a shadow along in here as well. And we'll do a little shadow up in the top. What do you think? How are we doing, my friends? Now, Hero, I'm going to go back to the blue and the purples. I'm also going to go through in the purple colors here with a little bit of blue. And I'm going to go through and add just a little bit more shadows along in here. Wonderful, wonderful. And just a little bit of blue, just slightly, I'm going to bring in just a little touch of blue on the bottom here as well. Right in here. Our darkest of colors. Just a hint. There it is, my friends. Wonderful. How is it? How is it, my friends? Do you enjoy it? Is it something that you like? So very many people asked for Jack Skellington. I hope that I did a, a good job. I'm also going to add just a little bit more of a shadow right in here. And blow dryer. I'm running out of time, but there are a few things that I want to do. I'm going to emphasize here, I'm going to darken up the lines for Jack and bring him forward just a bit from the background.
wonderful. I'm going to go through and give just a little bit of highlight here and there. I meant I'm enjoying it, Santa. Wonderful, wonderful. Yes, I enjoyed it. How is the reindeer doing? The reindeer are doing quite well. Right now it is preparations for the reindeer games at the end of the month. Very, very important for all the reindeer. So here we are, I'm going to add just a little bit here and there, kind of a little, little moments here with the, there we are. Wonderful, wonderful, my friends. I think we're there. I think we're there. Well, before we end, let's sign it and take the tape off. There we are. I'm going to put just a little bit of white just along the edge, my friends, of the moon. Just a little bit up in the top there. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. To all of those that have joined in, we've just completed the painting of Jack Skellington. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Let us take the tape peel off. And I hope that it's something that you've enjoyed. Now you'll notice now that the tape comes off, we can be reminded of what the true color of the paper was, a pure white. I think this one turned out quite nice. And to all of those that were wishing that I would paint Jack, well, I hope that you enjoy it. I hope that it's wonderful. And as I have been reminding each of you, my friends, we are, we are giving away all of the paintings that I'm working on. So this is one that you might be able to be able to win, my friends, as we do a little raffle for each of them. It does not cost any money, but something that you can find, I believe, on the Instagrammy. My friends, there we have it. What do you think? It's done finally. <laughs> what a wonderful thing. 
I wish you all goodness, my friends, all goodness indeed. What a wonderful thing art is, that we're able to have art within our lives. Sometimes it's art that others create, that inspire us, and that we can enjoy, that we can find meaning within the art. Sometimes it's art that we create, and it adds all sorts of wonderfully new things as well. But my friends, to all of those that have joined in, I'm so very happy that you're here and that you have given a little bit of your time to spend with me. I feel truly, truly honored. My friends, may art always fill your lives. May it be music and art and all sorts of wonderful creative things. I have a lot of people that will say, Santa, do you like Halloween? <laughs> well, I will tell you, my friends, my favorite part of Halloween is seeing young ones being creative and using their imaginations and certainly all of the candy. <laughs> A wonderful thing as well. My friends, I remind each of you that you matter, that you belong, and that you are good enough as you are. My friends, I'm proud of each of you, and I truly hope that as you are creating, that you will try new things. An art that maybe you have been thinking about trying, well, go ahead and give it a try, my friends. You might be the very next Picasso. <laughs> but my friends, what is most important is not the finished product of the art, but the feelings we have when we create it. My friends, I send you all of my best wishes from my heart to yours. Be kind and be good. And to all of those still with us, well, don't forget to subscribe and click the little jingle bell when it's time. <laughs> I'll see you soon, my friends. I'll see you soon. Let me know in the comments of the video what you want to see me draw next. A wonderful thing. We'll see you soon, my friends.